2016. It's my honor to introduce your co-host in the booth for today's broadcast, a real salesman salesman, Brett Cunningham, and the host with the most, Chad Wilcox, along with our featured sideline reporter, Jack of All Trades Diamond. Get ready for a jam-packed and exciting ride. Take it away, Brett and Chad. All right. Thank you. I mean, let it go. We can't get much better than that. I mean, I really appreciate that. And uh, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the uh, last national webinar of 2016. On the line, I have uh, Pat Sir. So, Pat, can you uh, kind of kick off the webinar for us? Absolutely. Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, uh, Brett. And uh, what an exciting way to kick off this webinar. It's football season. We are... You know, on the, uh, in our business, we are in the middle of 1-1 one, one selling season, which is uh, also by far the most exciting time of the year. So I want to just say uh, welcome, everyone, um, and thank you for all of you that have joined and, and you're taking time out of your busy schedule in a very busy time of the year. And, uh, you know, just I, I just want to make a few <clears throat> kind of high-level comments before I turn it back to the team here. But uh, right now, we're just feeling really good about 1-1 one, one sales. Um, the momentum that I think we're building going into 1-1 one, one is really exciting. And so I want to thank all of you for the business you're giving, you're, you're writing with us. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting as we take a look back, it's been almost five months since we were acquired by Teladoc. And it's just been a fantastic five months. Um, you know, having Teladoc as our clinical expertise <clears throat> answering the phones for patients that call in has just been tremendous. The feedback we're getting is, is absolutely tremendous. We think these the two organizations, as, as we have come together, has really made a very powerful force in the market. Um, from a sales perspective, as you may recall, we combined our two distribu distribution sales force. We combined um, these two groups on 9-1. And what was really exciting about that is we, in essence, doubled the size of our sales force. And what, what, what's great about that is there's more, more people on our team to serve you, more people to be responsive, to be helping you when you need help. Hopefully, um, you're hearing more from our people. They're following up with you more. And uh, the results would say that's happening because we're writing a lot more business. And so... You know, I would just encourage you to please, um, you know, continue to work with the sales team. Uh, you know, let them know what they can do to help. When we, when we look at our product offering, the other really um, neat aspect of combining forces is we now have a broader, you know, we really can meet the needs of your customers better. As you know, we have our um, standard Teladoc product portfolio that can be written on a, on a consults included or a plus consults basis. And then, of course, we have our Healthiest You offering, which is the consults included offering, which uh, Brett's gonna, Brett and the team are going to spend the majority of the time talking about today. And so um, we've got a broader product portfolio that's, again, um, going to only be good for you and your clients. One thing I want to remind you of is we do have, with our Healthiest You offering, the premium holiday. Which, is, which has been fantastic. We've written a lot of business with 10-1, 11-1, and 12-1 effective dates. So we still have one more effective date with 12-1 where uh, your customers, your employers, can actually get a premium holiday, which is exciting. So a lot going on from the Teladoc uh, Healthiest You World. Uh, appreciate everything you're doing for us. Uh, I'm going to turn it back to... Brett right now, and again, um, thank you for your business, and you know, let us know how we can help you going into the 1-1 one, one selling season. Thank you. All right. Thanks Brett. for that, Pat. And everybody out there, uh, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Brett Cunningham, part of the broker support team. 
uh, in the booth here today with Chad Wilcox. Chad, can you say hi to everybody out there? Hello, everyone. And also have Jack Diamond down on the field. He's our sideline reporter today. He'll be chiming in with some updates as we go. Say hi to everybody, uh, Jack. Hey, thanks, Brad. Hello, everyone here from the field. Everything's good to go. All right. So we're going to get into it. Uh, we're going to go a lot of football themes here. So if you're not familiar with football, uh, you know what? Just tune in. We're going to work with you. We're going to make sure everything goes smooth today. So one thing you'll hear me talk about a lot throughout this presentation is kind of our game plan, if you will. It's our healthiest use strategy. Um, as you know, you've probably worked with other um, telemedicine vendors out there. Something that we really like to uh, kind of specify and really preach is this philosophy, educate, remind, and simplify. That's really what it's all about here. We're going to be talking about that over and over today, and that's really been a big, big contributor to our success. Uh, Chad, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, when you're building a winning program, right, you think about any big football program, Alabama, you know, uh, the New England Patriots, it's not just one aspect that's going to make you successful. So there's a lot of aspects in what we talked about with our playbook that go into our value story, right? So we're going to cover all that today and give you that winning formula for your clients. Absolutely. And, and one thing, you know, especially Pat touched on it as well, is the, the combination between Health ECU and Teladoc. These numbers really speak for themselves. It really shows to our market presence. And what we're doing here is really dominating the competition. Uh, we're going to do almost 1 million visits this year. When you think about that, that is insane. We're saving companies and employees so much time, so much money, and it's only going to get more. Uh, Chad, I think you might want to touch on that, that study that we've seen in the past. Yeah, there's a well-known study from Deloitte out there that's projecting over 300 million visits in just a few years or e-medicine uh, visits. So we're in a position to really build a dynasty here, right? We're looking to do just under a million. So the potential for growth in the telehealth industry is, is really phenomenal, right? And no one's more prepared to, to handle those visits than Teladoc and Health ESU. So we're really excited about the future. Yeah, yeah. One more thing to touch on that is that uh, we were actually in uh, Louisville and at the Teladoc headquarters, the campus over there, and they have an infrastructure built that can handle over 10 million visits. So when you think about scalability, we're really there and we're really poised to make that big championship push. Uh, and, and kind of the market and technology, everything is kind of coming together right now. Healthcare costs, those are going up and now we're meeting on with technology. So 10 years ago, you know, if you wanted to go to the airport, you'd call a taxi. Now everybody knows it as calling an Uber. We made it simple, they made it easy, and now it's kind of well known. We're getting there with telemedicine. Eventually, people are going to say, hey, uh, I'm sick. Well, yeah, just call Healthy you. Boom. Those days are here, and we're really taking over. We don't own any doctor's offices, too, so the overhead is extremely low. Chad, do you want to touch on any of that? Yeah, when, when you're talking about being innovative, right, you, you get that innovative new spread offense, right? It's going to be successful. It's outside the box, right? What we're doing is changing healthcare, right? The traditional healthcare model just isn't working anymore, right? We're bending the trend, we're changing the game uh, with, with our new technology and, and everything else that we're doing. Absolutely. And one thing that we know is that we have to consumer at their technology level. You know, whether you're Tony's grandma over there in Pennsylvania and you're dialing from your rotary phone, you just have that 1-800 number, doctor 24-7. Or if you're tech savvy like we are in the Healthy Few headquarters, you just fire up your smartphone app, you have all the other features, all the other tools to bring you back to the app to keep you thinking Healthy Few top of mind. And kind of the, the, the fun part over here in the Healthy Few headquarters is that we have a development team that's always trying to look for that next big thing. You know, the smart watches, the smart TVs. I mean, I can even see us being in cars one day. And that's really what we're thinking about here. We're really innovating, really pushing the future of healthcare. Yeah, and when we're talking about meeting the user at their level, right, we're, at the core of everything we do, we're redirecting them to telehealth, but we're going to give them more tools um, to be successful, right, to us for more reasons than just when they need to connect to a doctor, right? We give them the option to uh, search for the lowest cash price for a prescription. They can uh, use our transparency uh, tool to shop and price procedures, find the low, high, and average in their area. We provide them with some health management content, some healthy recipes. You know, you got to have your training table. You got to stay healthy, ready to be uh, on the field, and we can also sync with your medical benefits, right? Give you that information all in your pocket, one place instead of having to go to multiple locations for the same services. Absolutely, and and when you think about the competition out there, 
you know, the embedded model that all the carriers are coming out with, they're really only running one play. They're just running the ball. We are going to have a full spread offense. We're going to be very diversified. We're going to give them the tools or our, our members the tools successful and think healthy as you. And this is just one of the ways we're driving uh, industry-leading utilization. And when I talked to you earlier about education, you know, getting the education through, uh, we have to get this message out there. And I tell all of my clients, hey, have your employees start with Healthy SU first. You know, if they don't have a broken bone and they're not bleeding, let's just call Healthy SU first. Let's talk to a doctor. Let's see if we can get it taken care of safely and effectively over the phone. Those other care options, those more costlier points of care, those are the kind of the way of the past. So, Chad, do you want to touch on anything about this one? Yeah, I mean, this really is all about the education portion. Like, getting people to realize that we can handle 70% of the visit reason, they're going to the emergency room, they're going to urgent care, or they're going to their PCP. I mean, I, I don't know if most of you are familiar, but the average wait time to get into a private practice for a PCP uh, appointment is 18 and a half days nationwide. So when you're talking about needing to uh, get the care uh, for your acute issues right then and there, uh, there's really no better option than Healthy SU. It's efficient. There's no cost to you. There's no travel time. You're not sitting in a germ-infested waiting room uh, like Brett mentioned. So it really is the best uh, starting point when, you, when you're looking for that care. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to go through a little, quick little game break and check in with Jack Diamond on the field. Jack, what are the, uh, what are the players saying about Healthy SU, about the, uh, the travel time and, and all of that? Yeah, absolutely, Brett. Uh, talking to the players today, they are excited about the fact that they do not have to spend time in a waiting room. The fact that they have access to Healthiest You and for a zero dollar console fee is really changing the game. It's allowing them to open and move the ball down the field. Back to you, Brett. Thanks, Jack. That's great feedback. And you probably have seen this slide before, or if you haven't, for example, what we're really doing is treating some of the most common reasons why people actually go into the ER. You know, this is, the this is really the bread and butter of our playbook. When people, members call in and talk to a doctor, those sore throats, those upper respiratory infections, we can handle those safely and effectively every single day through our telemedicine platform. Yeah, when we're talking about our, our team, right, our physician team, uh, it, we're really unmatched in the telehealth industry as far as our physician network, right? We're, we're more scalable. We can, we can flex the network uh, for uh, over 10 million visits currently, which Brett had just mentioned. We just had our highest consult uh, volume day uh, just two days ago. So we're really in a position uh, with the physician clinical back end to, to handle that volume, right? And then to put your mind at ease as far as the physician network, right? The average years of experience from all of our physicians is over 20 years, right? So you're talking to a board certified uh, physician who's got experience, who's licensed to diagnose, treat, prescribe medication from within the state you're calling from. The other great thing is we're coming up on the holiday season, right? You may be going to a, to a bowl game for your uh, alma mater, right? You might be in a different state. Uh, Healthy is you going to travel with you, right? You, you can actually call and connect to a doctor uh, from a state that you're not in, as long as you're not at a Razorback game over there in Arkansas, right, Brett? Yeah, absolutely, and, and hopefully that team's going to be coming around any time now. Uh, and and this, really the the scoreboard really speaks for itself. You know, these numbers, these stats, what coach, what owner doesn't want to look into these? You know, 95% patient satisfaction rating, unheard of. And one of my favorite, too, is a lot of these people or the clients that aren't really familiar with health issue, a lot of times they ask, well, you know, when does a doctor call you back? You know, this is great. It sounds like you, you request it and they call you back, you know, in a day or two. Well, our average call back time is under 10 minutes. And when you think about running an efficient offense, you know, we're not going to delay a game penalty on that one, are we, Chad? <laughs> no, absolutely not. And when you take away that barrier for people to try it with that $0 console fee model, um, I don't know about you, but if I had the same amount of cost to try something new, I'm more likely to go to that traditional method of care, right? I'm going to go see my primary care if it's a $40 console fee to call in and use the service, right? But taking away that barrier gets people to use it. We know it's going to spread across the whole team, right? They're going to tell their coaches, their other players, uh, the, the defensive side of the ball, and it's going to really start to spread. And that's how we see our utilization really start to spike. People are going to share how easy and efficient and how much money they save by using Healthy HU. Yeah, absolutely. And I always talk about this as well uh, when we're talking about driving utilization. If we can get one employee to try it, 
and they love it and they use it over and over and then they tell their coworker and they try it once and use it over and over and word just spreads and and that's really exciting for us because we know it works it's not like we sign them up and we hope they don't use the service we sign them up and we make sure they use the service uh, and and one of the ways we do that is through our client success team uh, they really are our, our bread and butter over here it, Chad, do you want to kind of touch on client success? Yeah, and when you think about a successful program, right, there's always going to be a, that strong strength and conditioning coach in that, that program, right? And they're going to design a specific uh, training program for each uh, specific position, right? You're not going to give the same uh, training program to an offensive lineman as you are a wide receiver, right? Wouldn't it make sense? Well, our client success team is the same way, right? We're not going to treat a transportation or trucking company that has employees spread across the country the same way we are a hundred life uh, technology group that's all under one house one office right we're going to design a custom plan a custom strategy to engage your specific members um, and educate them well yeah absolutely and I always try to touch on this as well when when I'm signing up new groups you guys out there as the brokers as consultants let us know when you have a new group coming in. If you know a group's coming on one, two months in advance, they love telemedicine, they love healthy ECU, let us know in advance. Let's get a pre-launch strategy going. Let's tie in the client success team. Let's really game plan so we can execute our offense the way we need to. Uh, they cover all the else, so whether it's webinars, admin kits, we have a state-of-the-art client portal where our clients can make ads and drops, they can view utilization, which as you guys all know, you got to know if they're using it or not what good is having a, a telemedicine product in place if nobody uses it that's not how you change behavior uh, each member is going to get a fulfillment kit in the mail uh, this will change from time to time but this is a kind of the standard model right there uh, you don't need the card to access the service we try to get that out to everybody you know you don't need the card you just simply log into your app or call the 1-800 number you're going to have a full team there to support you and assist you with that yeah, and when we're talking about custom engagement and custom strategy for your specific group and their demographics, right, that and exemplified with our marketing, right, it's always going to be seasonally specific and tailored to uh, keep Healthy SU top of mind with our users, right? Um, and when we're talking about outside the box creative, you're not going to see a doctor in a lab coat with a stethoscope, right? We're going to have a, something creative that's going to be uh, like I said, time specific, uh, seasonally specific, and, and really meant to engage and, and educate the member as well. Exactly. And, and when it's back to school season and you see this cute little kid in the corner picking his nose, that's probably going to jog your memory or you're, you're at least going to open it up and look at it. And uh, maybe we can get some feedback from Jack Diamond on the field. Uh, what are the uh, admins and members saying about the marketing? Yeah, thanks, Brett. I uh, just got out of the huddle here on the healthiest you sideline, and the members are ecstatic about how convenient and how the success team is and the marketing material that they receive uh, does a fantastic job of being able to present the value uh, added from bringing on healthiest you to the plan. Thanks Brett. Uh, thank you Jack and when we talk about utilization reporting this is really how we see if our uh, if our game plan is working. You know, if you have a group with us for six months or so and, and they have low utilization, well, we're going to have to call a timeout. We're going to have to re-game plan and re-engage the group and see what's going to work next time because that's really what separates us from the competition out there. We care about utilization. We want to drive it. Uh, and, Chad, do you have anything to touch on on the utilization reporting? Yeah, absolutely. I like to think about it as the ultimate scoreboard, right? You go to some of these new stadiums, you got the huge jumbotron with all the stats and everything going on in the game. Well, that's what we're doing with our utilization reporting, right? We're going to break down exactly how you're performing with Healthy SU. Where we're redirecting claims from, right? We're going to ask each member after they have a Healthy SU console, where would you have gone had you not had Healthy SU? The primary care, um, the urgent care, or the emergency room? We're going to break it down by state if you have multiple office locations. If you want to see if people are using it while they travel, we're going to track that for you. Time of day, you can see if people are using it at the middle of the night, right, when, they're, when it's really hard to get in to see a doctor. So we're going to break down the value and, and show you exactly where you stand on that scoreboard. Yeah, and you touched a little bit on this, uh, of the different, seeing the different locations. I'm a big fan of that. I have a few groups of mine that are national accounts, and we looked at the other day, and, and they have a lot of employees in Texas, but they had low utilization. So we had to kind of come back to the drawing board, see what was going on. Maybe there was some turnover in the admin department, and our message wasn't getting out there. 
So things like that are all viewable in the utilization reporting that we have. And you, so when you think about driving utilization, A, we have the best doctor network in the world with the Teladoc doc, doctor network. And then we have the client success team as a really offensive, really progressive um, game management, trying to figure out what's next to drive utilization. And then you bring in the app. And this has really took us to the next level as far as the program goes. And, and we're going to actually call a timeout and bring uh, Jack Diamond in from the field to do a, a brief app demo. Uh, so bear with me one second while we get this on screen. All right. Looks like Jack Diamond is here. There we go. Jack, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Brett. I uh, just got done talking to Tom, and he was raving about this mobile application and how easy it was to get set up. Right out of the gate on the Today screen, we have the initial visit doctor. And this is a very easy step-by-step -step process that I will show you here. Um, right out of the gate, who needs help today? That is me being a single male. I have no spouse and dependents on my plan. So I'm going to go through and click myself, going through. Where are you located? What state are you in? Uh, as Chad had mentioned earlier, this benefit travels with you. So if you are in a different state, you can select it. I am in Arizona, so I'm going to go with that. And for my purposes today, I'm going to stick with the telephone console. And from there, make sure that my contact information is correct. Everything looks OK on the screen, so I'm going to hit Next. I need to upload a few pictures. Maybe I have a rash or a bug bite, something of that nature, maybe a big uh, cut from playing tough on the field. Um, I can upload a picture and, and take care of that. Um, so what's cool about this is because the benefit travels with you, um, if you need a one-time pharmacy in an area that you're located, um, or maybe it's the middle of the night and you need to update a 24-hour pharmacy, uh, you can do so here. Um, I have my pharmacy set. Go to next. Go Things OK, hit the terms and conditions, boom, hit confirm. Uh, within 9 to 10 minutes, doctor is uh, going to be calling you back on your cell phone, which is awesome there. Um, to dive back into it, back into another awesome feature on the mobile app uh, is the radar function. So what's really cool about the radar function, a fantastic tool, um, it will show you a number of specific points of care within your given area. So say you're looking for uh, a primary care physician, a pharmacy, urgent care, hospital, uh, and even a little uh, veterinarian. Maybe Fido needs some help. Um, you can look up that specific point of care directly on the Health ESU app. Um, if you're traveling, you're in an unfamiliar area, um, or you just need to locate a, a, a provider. So I can click on this. Um, I'm going to go to uh, Roberto Patron, uh, MD, hit the details. A uh, little provider search disclaimer will pop up saying, hey, call in, uh, make sure they take your insurance. You know, those things are changing, um, you know, quite honestly. Uh, go through trying to re-engage some bio, locations, background information, a bunch of good stuff there. Uh, the last main point is the pricing of the prescriptions. This will give me the ability to search a prescription on a cash basis. I'm going to use Lipitor as an example. I can hit compare prices. From there, it'll show me the cash price on various pharmacies. What's awesome about the app is it's smart enough to know if there is a generic version of the drug you're looking for. In this case, that's why Lipitor is a perfect example. It has a generic. I click on it, and I can go through the, the necessary C pricing steps. I can click on the various pharmacy. It shows me some information on my prescription. Phone. I can go in, click Add to Apple Wallet, and boom. You got your pharmacy discount card that you can show to the pharmacist, and you're good to go on a cash basis. So pretty simple there. Back to you, Brett. All right, thanks, Jack. Appreciate that. And one thing I want to touch on uh, on the app as well is is that what's really here to drive utilization. Okay, it's really our MVP, if you will. Uh, and what it's all about is really putting all these different features. And, and some people might think they're features, but really the mad science behind it is. We're adding tools to the app to pull you in when you're not sick. So we want you thinking health is you top of mind. Uh, one of the ways we keep health is you top of mind is through our geofencing reminders. Uh, Chad, you want to kind of give a brief 
brief uh, description of geofencing, maybe a scenario? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're doing with geofencing reminders is we're catching the user or the member at their time of need, right? So what we've done is we've gone in and mapped all the uh, urgent cares and pharmacies uh, in the country, right? So what happens is if you get near a urgent care, right, in the middle of the night or you have the Healthy Two app, and you walk in that urgent care, we're going to send you that push notification reminding you you have the ability to talk to a doctor right now through Healthy as You, right? You don't have to go sit in that urgent care for hours. You don't have to generate that claim or pay that money. And we're going to do the same thing in the pharmacy, right? You walk into a CVS and you go to fill a prescription. We're going to send you that push notification reminding you to check on the cash price through our prescription discounts, right? You might be able to save some money just by walking across the street or driving a half a mile to Walgreens, right? So it's always good to check it, and again, we're keeping Healthy SU top of mind, and we're reminding the user, um, you know, about the ability to save some money. Yeah, and one way to think about it really is that the, the Healthy SU app with the geofencing reminder really is throwing that red challenge flag on the field. We're going to try to intercept that claim and run it back the other way for a telemedicine touchdown, right, Chad? Absolutely. All right. And and when you think about all this, you know, it sounds great, right? You know, we have the telemedicine, we got the client success. Well, what does it really mean? How much does it cost? What's going on to the bottom line? And this really gets us fired up is our, our utilization. When you look at the, the kind of the competition out there, the other telehealth vendors, the embedded features, you know, they're not doing anything to change behavior. One to five percent utilization, that's not going to do anything to your bottom line. Uh, Healthy SU, on the other hand, our block of business is soaring. We're leading the league in utilization, and, and it's really a, what's kind of what we're passionate about, you know, that education, reminding, and simplifying. That message is really working, and the market is seeing it. And when you think about change in behavior, 26 first year, 58 second year, I've seen numbers way north of both of those. Those are pretty conservative, I would feel like, and, and we're really excited about our future with, uh, with Teladoc and really driving even more utilization. And, and when you think about it, the 26% the or the 58%, if you multiply those by average plan savings of 673, I mean, you're seeing substantial, substantial decreases to your bottom line. And one way of bending the trend is really implementing the Healthy SU platform. Anything you want to touch base on, on chat on these? Yeah, it, it, I like to think about it as building a successful program, right? There's a lot of aspects that go into it. You, you got to have good players. You got to have good partners like, like you all on the phone. And, and then you got to build value. You got to talk to what is the bottom line? What is going to make uh, this makes sense for your groups, right? And that's where the savings and the, and the redirection comes in. But there's a whole lot of aspects and what we call our playbook or secret sauce that goes into it, the client success, the work they do directly with the groups, with the education, with your admin, uh, the work that we do with you as our, as our broker partners, um, with our technology, right, the game-changing app that we, we just went through, uh, putting all those healthcare needs right in your pocket, so all that combined creates that successful program and puts us in a position to really, uh, you know, have a winning team. Yeah, thanks. And uh, we're going to take a quick game update uh, from the field here. Uh, Jack Diamond, down the field, what are the members saying about saving money? Are they enjoying that? Yeah, thanks, Brett. They love it. Back to you. <laughs> all right. Great update. Thank you. Uh, and one of our, uh, our, our Teladoc success stories, uh, you know, a large national retailer, we kind of all kind of figure out who that is. They saw it nearly nine times ROI. And when you think about that, that's $5.4 in total medical savings. Uh, Rena Center, another client of ours, 11.8 times ROI. So these are validated third-party studies that's really working. Uh, here personally, uh, we've kind of touched on this one in Slinger School District, a client of ours, 225 employees made up of teachers and staff, and we all know that teachers don't get paid enough. They simply don't. At least in the past, they had really rich benefit pan, plans. As uh, healthcare costs have increased over the years, you know, the school districts, they're doing what they have to do to cut costs. So what they've been doing, we've seen across the, the country, is kind of decreasing their, their healthcare. And this school district decided to kind of bend that trend and really put a program in place that A, the employees the teachers, the staff they loved, which was healthiest you, and they helped us promote it. And instead of seeing that 10 to 20% increase in premium year over year, they actually saw a 2% reduction. And they shared that money with the, the teachers and staff. So when you think about winning, I mean, this is really what it's all about right here. So Chad, do you want to touch on the success story of this one? Yeah, absolutely. So when we talk about larger self-funded examples, right, a big part of that what goes into the success, right, is 
the plan design, right? We're really preaching, and we've had a lot of partners and brokers out there have great success with plan redesign, right? Putting healthy as you first and changing the benefit plan, going to a more consumer-driven plan, maybe raising those deductibles, uh, raising the co-pays, and, and, and using that cost, that money savings on the plan, putting it towards healthy as you, and then uh, we can take care of 70% of those visit reasons people are going to in-office visit. The results are pretty phenomenal, right? You can see the utilization. For a group this size, 44% utilization is, is pretty incredible, right? So the, the amount of money saved when we use that $673 is really phenomenal. When you're talking about value, when you're talking about ROI, uh, even reduced absenteeism, keeping those players on the field is a huge part of what we do. So it doesn't just have to be about redirecting claims. It's keeping people healthy, happy, more productive. And that's really what we're all about. Yeah, we really want to keep people off that injury report, right, Chad? Absolutely. And, and, and Chad mentioned it too, a lot of the consultants, a lot of the brokers out there are really, the ones who are really gravitating to Healthy Issue, they're leading with Healthy Issue first. They're saying, hey, let's take care of over 70% of your typical doctor visits through telemedicine. It doesn't cost your employees a dime. This is an amazing benefit that we really want to spread. And then they kind of fill in, you know, the major medical, maybe some ancillary after that. But this is really how you kind of design benefits for the new age here. Uh, Jack Diamond, uh, uh, I want to check in with you real quick on the field. Uh, the pricing that you see on the on the jumbotron, uh, does that include uh, the the families, or is that just a, a, an employee? Hey, thanks, Brett. Yeah, diving into the pricing, uh, that PEPM includes the employee plus his or her spouse and dependents, so it is encompassing of the entire family. Oh. That's you, Brett. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Jack. Good to I was curious clarify. about the uh, commission on that, too, Brett. Do you have anything to add? Uh, yeah, this has commission built in, uh, and we would like to say it's pretty competitive out there, you know, 15% for all of you out there. So it's not like, you know, you're just implementing this uh, for the good of your company. You're also going to be uh, compensated as well. And, Chad, you want to kind of wrap this up, uh, and then we'll get into maybe some post-game interviews? Yeah, absolutely. So what we've done with uh, partnering with Teladoc since the acquisition is we've really built um, the best of what we do on the front end, right? The best offense, innovative uh, technology, everything we're doing to drive utilization. Now we're matching it with a great defense, a great back end on the clinical side of things, right? The physician network and uh, customer support that Teladoc has is unmatched in the industry. And we're very fortunate to have them on our team now, right? So we're be able to match uh, the front end versus the back end and really build a winning team. And now we're in a position to really dominate the telehealth industry. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are so excited. We really do feel like we're changing healthcare. Our whole team is buying into the message. We're playing as one unit, and we're really, uh, we're really pushing for this championship. Not only a championship, but a legacy or a dynasty, if you will. Uh, Jack Diamond, uh, down on the field, uh, do you have uh, the, the MVP of the game down there? Uh, maybe you can uh, touch base with us on that. Yeah, thanks, Brad. I'm here with uh, star quarterback and MVP, Jesse Listen. Hey, Jesse, thanks for taking time to speak with me today. Hey, hey I just wanted to kind of get with you and give a, a general overview of what you saw today on the field and kind of some good uh, some good points coming from your perspective. Yeah, thanks, Jack. You know, we, we have a lot to say about the coaching. Uh, you know, you, you look across the sidelines, and obviously the game plan of the other team was not working. They're not driving utilization. Players are slouched over. It's just not helping anybody out. And we really capitalized on that. We're taking the momentum, using our client success team, of course, to really drive that utilization and working with awesome brokers out there in the industry. So we couldn't be more excited. It's a championship run, and uh, we're just ready to take it to the house. That's great, Jesse. I appreciate that. Back to you, Brett. All right. Well, I appreciate that. And, and everybody out there, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you do have any questions, uh, you do all have uh, some representatives on the broker support team over here. Uh, reach out to them. Uh, ask them questions, get marketing from them. If for some reason you don't know who yours is, uh, please call the sales support line uh, from the Healthy SU website. We'll make sure we put you in touch with the right person. And let's, uh, let's finish the year strong. So thanks a lot, everybody.